Hey perfume junkies, this is Kay Loves Perfume. Welcome back, or if you're new here, subscribe down below because I will be posting more perfume related content in the future. Hi, this is Kay Loves Perfume. Are you feeling spicy? Because I am. Today we're going to do a spicy video. Um, I have several spicy fragrances here for women or men if you're into more feminine fragrances then for everybody Kenzo Jungle La Elephant now this is a beautiful very 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 strong fragrance that opens up with kind of a mango on top of um well no yeah well, it's a tiny tiny bit of mango a tiny bit of vanilla but with tons and tons of cloves like Cloves overload. An overload of cloves with cardamom, cumin, caraway, heliotrope that gives a little bit of powderiness. But yeah, it's mango, vanilla, and cloves mostly. But ooh, Beast Mode Strong Fragrance Metal Elephant Cap. Very heavy, beautiful bottle. But this fragrance. You could spray it on and you'll smell it all day. Spray it on clothes, smell them for months or years. Extreme beast mode. Beast mode. Perfect for like Christmas time. But honestly, I'm into spicy, so I would wear this all year round. Great for the summer because it's got that mango touch to it. So if you spray lightly, just one on the wrist, rubbed in, rub it, rub it, and then you're good. So you have one spray goes a long ways and you can actually wear this in the summer or spring. Great fragrance. Next I have one that gives off a similar vibe with spice and vanilla with a little bit of fruit. Now that is none other than Organza Indecence. Beautiful frosted glass, see-through sides, gorgeous bottle, pretty top. Now this one is not quite as strong, not quite as sharp, not quite as heavy. It's more of a, it's cinnamon, vanilla, and mandarin orange is mostly the vibe that I get from this. It lasts really well, but this is a lot stronger, a lot more beast mode, but harsher more synthetic, more chemically, but not in a bad way. It still smells excellent, an excellent fragrance, amazing fragrance. But this is a more ladylike snickerdoodle, as whereas this is like the pop or pupuri, however you say that, that stuff that goes in the bathroom in the tray that has all like the little shapes. They used to use it a lot in the 90s. That's kind of what this is reminiscent of. Also, those broomsticks that are really strong cinnamon. For some reason, this gives off that vibe, and this does not. This is a lot lighter, more delicate. and But this is $40, and this is like $100. I got mine for $85 during the Macy's sale for 15% off. Beautiful fragrance. Stunning, stunning, stunning fragrance. Um... Definitely recommend both of these. They're in the same vibe. If you love this, you'll love this. If you love this, you'll love this. Well, maybe. It depends on if you're into beast mode. Because this is big, big heavy hitter. And this is a little bit more closer to the skin. Still lasts a long time. But more delicate. Alright. Next we have... None other than Red by Giorgio Beverly Hills. Red is cherry on top of a Coca-Cola spice base. I think there is lots of clove in here. So it's a slight spice. You get a little bit of greenness from the oak moss and a little bit of cherry. So there's some fruit in there. But then you get that beautiful, gorgeous Coca-Cola-like base, which is what clove does oftentimes. Beautiful scent. Beautiful scent. If you like this, you will like this. This is Taboo by Dana. 
Now, Taboo is definitely just straight up Coca-Cola. No cherries, none of that. Just straight Coca-Cola. So it's like straight up amber and clove. So it just gives you the straight Coca-Cola smell. Beautiful, gorgeous. If you're wanting to venture into um, vintages, I recommend this for a starter. Definitely. All right, next I have none other than Elizabeth Taylor's Passion. Beautiful, beautiful scent. It definitely starts off a little bit leathery, a little bit green, like oak mossy, a little bit unsweetened. But then the honey comes in there and she um, tones it down and she sweetens it up. She makes it into a beautiful, beautiful beautiful scent um so the spice that's in here i'm not particularly sure what exact spices that they put in here are but i'm gonna think that it's like clove and cinnamon but i'm not sure because it just says spices but beautiful spicy cozy warm scent definitely this is a repurchase for me for life as it all of these fragrances are Every single one of these that I'm mentioning is going to stay in my collection forever. And if I run out, I'm going to repurchase. Like I said, I love spice. Alright, so that was Elizabeth Taylor. Passion. So next we have none other than Youth Do by Estee Lauder. Now I've talked about her before. She is beast mode. She is strong. You're not going to want to smell the bottle. This is an acquired taste. You're going to want to spray this on and suffer through those harsh aldehydic top notes. It's a mishmash of like lavender and like fruit and it just does not work. It does not smell good. But once you get rid of that nasty top notes after those fade, you get the most beautiful, gorgeous cinnamon and Coca-Cola on your powder. It's just, it's got like cinnamon and cloves and it's just got so many different types of spices on top of a cosmetic powder base, but you mostly get cinnamon. Beautiful scent. Very classy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. If you're into vintages, eventually you'll probably be into this because they're, a collection is not complete. A vintage collection is not complete without Youth Do. Youth Do, she is classic. She is beautiful. Unique. There's definitely nothing that smells like youth do other than Cinnabar, which is by the same people, and it's a very similar fragrance. But it's harder to find vintages of Cinnabar. Alright, next we have Miss Opium by YSL. Now, Opium? Very hard to find. Very hard to find for an inexpensive price. Now, Beautiful, very oriental, very unisex. It's somewhat reminiscent of spices you would put on a taco, but with a beautiful, sweet underlying base. So it does have bergamot in there, which gives it that taco-like feel, taco spice feel. Um, so it's got bergamot, it's got... Um, so many different kinds of spices, I can't even think right now. Um, but yes, opium is like the queen of spice. There is no spice like opium because she is the queen. She rules over all the other spices. She's the most beast mode of any beast mode you could get. It's her. She is. She reigns supreme. But she is a... Very complex scent. Very complex. I can't even like put into words to explain opium. You're going to have to smell the vintage version of opium because the new version of opium is like a tiny, 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 tiny bit of spice on top of rubber tires and some kind of like, I don't know, like leather or something, but it's not good. It's not good. This is good. This is really good. The new stuff? Mm -mm. Nope. When, it's not even worth checking out the new stuff. Alright, next we have none other than Obsession 
Now I have the Vintage of Obsession with the gray lid, or tan lid. Light tan. The newer version has a darker lid reminiscent of the bottom color, but it is see-through. Now this is very heavy oak moss, almost green-like opening. And then it settles down into a beautiful, like, creamy Coca-Cola cream soda kind of base with vanilla and amber. Well, the vanilla is very light, but it's a dry vanilla and unsweetened vanilla with a very heavy amber and lots of spice. It's beautiful, beautiful scent. Great for bedtime. Very cozy and warm. All right, last, wait, I have two more. I have two more scents. All right, next we have Coco Chanel EDT, which I prefer the EDT because I feel like it's less rose, more spice, more like vanilla-ish sweetness. So it's more cloves, more amber, less rose. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Beautiful. Definitely check out Coco. I would not recommend buying, purchasing any Chanel products off of eBay unless it has been used and you can kind of tell the batch code or see that it is real from the pictures because otherwise it's probably fake. So you're gonna wanna buy Chanel from an authentic Chanel um, place. All right, last, wait, wait. Ooh, I goofed. I have Obsession's little sister, Secret Obsession. She is nutmeg on top of a beautiful smoky plum. Very deep, deep scent, very sensual, very date-like. Now, out of all of these scents so far, this is the... No, it's not. Yeah, I think this is mostly the sweetest. Or this one. Or this one. These three are the sweetest ones for my gourmand lovers. But yes, yeah, beautiful scent. Definitely a repurchase for me for life. Like, I'm gonna probably get a backup bottle of all of these. But, like, for me to say that about um, a new Calvin Klein scent, well, I guess not, because there's two more Calvin Klein scents that are ride or die for me besides this one. But yeah, beautiful scent. I'm starting to really like Calvin Klein because. Before I was like, eh, the cheap, the quality's down, that's why it's cheaper. But no, I've discovered Reveal, which is a salty vanilla, and I love it. I started off with Into You, with the citrus creaminess, with the cactus behind it. And beautiful, beautiful summer scent. Nothing beats that. Like, that's so unique. Um, but yeah, okay, last but not least. Beautiful box. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, it is Amouage Fate for Woman. I've talked about her before many times. She starts off with the taco-like spices with bergamot, some type of chili, um, cinnamon. Beautiful scent. She is very reminiscent of this one, but this has a face that is very reminiscent of Shalimar and Le Hair Bleu combined so the Shalimar has less of the smokiness so like an unsmoked Shalimar definitely is the bottom base of this with opium on top it's so beautiful like the la labdomen I think it's called gives it this buttery creaminess I'm just, I'm gonna have to buy more from Amouage. Like, my wallet's gonna kill me, but I gotta get more Amouage. I wanna get Memoir and Jubilation 25, I think it's called. Those are on my radar. I think they're smoky and spicy, so I really wanna check those out. But yes, this one, definitely for you vintage lovers and you lovers of complex classic scents. Ooh, 
she's the queen. She's the queen. She rules. She's the queen. Beautiful, beautiful scent. You can find it for $150 on FragranceNet or $180 on FragranceX, depending on who has stock. I think you can also get her on a Lucky Scent and other places like that. Um, but yes, that was Amwash Fate for Woman. Now, out of all of those, my favorites, it sounds a little corny, but obviously it is. This one's my favorite of all. But I also really, for some reason, surprisingly enjoy this. I think because of the low price, and I don't feel guilty when I use this because it was so dirt cheap like eight dollars i just like spray it spray it spray it use it use it use it because it's so cheap and it's so reminiscent of the others that it's like oh this is eight dollars i can just repurchase this if i use all of it you know so i really enjoy this one guys i almost forgot this one this is adam levine for women or men if you're into this scent so this is basically sandalwood with spices and vanilla, but it's mostly a dry, sweet sandal. Well, I don't know if it's dry or sweet. I'm not really a sandalwood kind of gal, but it is definitely reminiscent of her. Like the sandalwood in here is reminiscent of the sandalwood in here. This is plum, sandalwood, and nutmeg. This is sandalwood and spice and vanilla. So it's reminiscent, but this is more fruity and sweeter. This is more unisex. Still a delicious base scent. Beautiful, $10 or less. Definitely check this out. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, give me a like and subscribe down below and click on the bell notification so you get notified when i upload next all right bye